Life before I had the tremor, I, I was more mobile, but with the tremor, it made my mobility situation worse. And even walking with my cane, because I'm right-handed, well, that made that more of a dangerous situation. It impacted my life in ways that you can't imagine. I mean, I, for one thing, I didn't want to go out and do anything. I didn't want to be anything because I couldn't hold a glass. I felt a glass with something in it was shaking. I tried to just ignore it and to deal with it. And then I started seeing another doctor about it and I had several visits with him and he ran all of these tests, every test that you could think of really. And he still just couldn't come up with uh, that it was anything other than perhaps nervousness or something like that. So my brother and sister, we get a second opinion. That's when we met up with Dr. Shelvant. And uh, they decided that right away that I really had essential tremor. So it didn't take long for it to be diagnosed. And uh, so and we ended up setting up the time and everything to do it. I think the thing is, I felt secure with the people who were doing it. I felt they really knew what they were doing, and I trusted, I really trusted them. And I really wanted to get this done because it, it, had, it had gotten to the point that it was controlling my life. I was letting a hand control, a shaken hand control my life. As to where I went, what I did, uh, you know, it, it was awful. When I first went in, of course, the, one of the first things that you do is draw, write your name, which <laughs> that was a disaster. <laughs> and he explained to me about that frame. And I had seen a picture of that frame too. It wasn't what I thought it would be. It wasn't as big a deal. The only deal with the frame was for a while when he was having to clamp down real tight. One time, just one time, it felt a little tight. And I went, uh, I sort of did the one that. But it was amazing, because he had to keep on clamping down until he'd get the frame over my head. But that was over my head, I was fine. And uh, then we started the procedure, and I was in and out of the machine, and they would ask me every time, are you sure you're okay? And I would just give him a thumbs up. He said, okay, raise your hand. I raised my hand, he said, what do you think? I said, it's miraculous. I couldn't think of anything else miraculous. How could this be? How could it stop? How could it have stopped? It, it really was like a miracle to me. And I, 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 I'm so glad I did it. I really am, I'm very glad I did it. And I would suggest to anyone who's thinking about doing it, it's worth having it done. I didn't feel apprehensive or worried because everyone up to that point who was involved in this or was going to be involved in this, they were such amazing people. The people on the Riverside staff, 